Okay, what's going on, Leo? I am your dope astrologer and tarot reader. And this is a reading focused on who is thinking about you. Not necessarily who you are thinking about, but who is thinking about you. Because sometimes those energies can be different. So I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. Happy New Year. We are out of Mercury retrograde. We are in the post shadow period. So some of you have been thinking about some type of project that you want to um, manifest or some type of creative project that you want to show people and showcase you know you are you have probably been thinking about something that you wanted to do to like express yourself creatively um, you have also been thinking about children you know the children that you have maybe getting pregnant maybe thinking about having children there's also a need here of wanting to give birth not to a human necessarily but to give birth to um, something that you want to create this is also the energy of wanting to transmute sad depressed low vibrational energy into something positive there could have also been thoughts of you if you're single thinking about you know your romantic life what you need to do differently you know maybe you need to get out more and if you are in a relationship this could mean that you are wondering you know do I want to go to the next step with this person? Do I see a future with this person? You know, stuff like that. So let's get into your tarot and see who is thinking about you, Leo. <clears throat> Overall energy, we have the Empress in reverse. This is Taurus energy, a.k.a. Venus energy. So there's like an overall feeling energy of not being happy whoever this is um there could have also been um a third party situation involved in this issue with this person um there could also be money issues involving you and or whoever this is that's thinking about you so who is this person thinking about leo Okay, we got the Four of Wands, Two of Swords in reverse, Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who um, they could have ghosted you because you didn't want to commit to them or vice versa. They didn't want to commit to you. There could have been um, a heated argument conversation about the stability or the security that someone didn't have in the situation um, maybe someone like I said had money issues or someone could have felt like I can't be Leo you may have thought I can't be with this person because they can't support me financially they don't have any financial stability you could have ghosted them after that. If that wasn't the case, this person wasn't very honest or you felt like they were lying about dumb shit. You know, trying to make themselves seem to be a certain way. Um, let's do some clarifying. What is this about? What's this two of swords about in reverse? Ten of wands. So, um, this person wasn't honest. 
they could have not been honest about how they make their money or their living arrangement, their living situation, and you found out about it or you just put two and two together and it was like, this is too much for me. Or you finding out that information, you could have embarrassed this person. Whatever it was, this has really caused them to become very focused on getting a job, getting a better job, working harder at the job they already have, paying attention to, you know, what needs to be improved in their life. What is this Eight of Pentacles about? Ace of Cups. So yeah, they know that in order to get someone like you, they need to get on their shit, basically. This person has a lot to learn when it comes to a relationship, a romantic relationship. This person has a lot to learn when it comes to, you know, what a secure foundation consists of and what a commitment consists of. When it comes to, you know, trying to be in a relationship, this person could have been like, Chaotic, living from pillar to post, robbing Peter to pay Paul. I mean, we all in some sort rob Peter to pay Paul. But this is someone who could not have been very um, responsible in some in some facets of their life. And you just didn't want to put up with that. There's something happened with their home. What is this Four of Wands about? Yeah, King of Swords in reverse, the star in reverse, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, lies and manipulation. They could have like sold you a dream and you found out this person has no idea or they have they don't have the resources to even give me this. They don't have the 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 ability to give me the white picket fence and the family and the security. So this is someone that you were like, thank you, but no, thank you. But it looks like it, it caused them to like get motivated and to like try to turn their life around. How do they feel about Leo? The moon in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse, so Cancer energy. You found out about a third party or this is like a third party confronting you about this person. They, they feel that they're feeling the result of that happening or they feel you stopped talking to them because someone outed them to you someone confronted them about someone confronted you about them they feel like they can't continue to lie to you anymore manipulate them anymore this person could have an issue with drinking or some type of vice that they're using to cope with this over this they could have um <laughs> so I used to talk to this one dude and I'm intuitive, right? So I have no choice but to act on what it is that I feel. And every time, basically, whenever I was like, you know, who is this? Who is this commenting on your page? You know, why are you like it was like he was basically flirting with this one girl on social media. But he was just at my house the previous night. And I'm like, you know, who is this? Like, if you're talking to someone else, you know, that's cool. I'll just leave you alone. That's my cousin. Every girl that, you know, every girl was a cousin. 
even the girl that I found out that he was seeing, you know, he told me that was his cousin. So this, <laughs> some of you are going through the same thing. Like you found out this friend or this cousin isn't a friend or a cousin. It's somebody that they were seeing. <clears throat> Or, you know, the person they told you not to worry about is the person that they were actually spending time with. They don't like the fact that um, you caught them, though. Yeah, Ace of Swords, you found out the truth. They don't like it. What's their next action towards you, Leo? Justice in reverse, Libra energy, six of wands in reverse, the emperor, <clears throat> they could have Libra or Aries in their chart. It's like they feel that, you know, you, they are hurting you by not giving you any type of attention, that you lost a good thing. Like you're you're the loser in this situation. They're not taking accountability for their part in this. And honestly, they feel like they were not lying to you that. Um, you broke the bond by being nosy and finding out the truth. This is someone who could be a father. They could be the father or mother of your children. This is also someone who um, they could work in the military, government, law enforcement. It's like this person was cool until you let them know you are not the one, the two or the three. You know, you, you can't lie to me. And they had the right idea, wrong person. Basically, they don't like that. They don't like that you're smart. They don't like the fact that you stood up for yourself. So they will continue to ignore you because they feel like that's your punishment. You shouldn't have found out the truth. OK, <laughs> what's the um, outcome? Best case scenario. There's too many cards. Let's see the best case scenario for Leo and this person outcome this could get a little messy just basing on how the cards feel um, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse the seven of cups they will probably try to make you jealous by letting you know or showing you some kind of way that they got options, that they're seeing a lot of people that, you know, multiple people want them. Basically, this could be a Capricorn. They could have Capricorn in their chart. They could be a Pisces. They could have Pisces in their chart. This person is full of manipulation and you saw it. You got out while you could. Congratulations. What else? What other messages? You're walking away to find happiness. You're walking away towards someone who does want a commitment that does have ethics and morals and integrity and want to treat you right with the Hierophant and the Six of Swords here, Taurus energy. Yeah, let's draw some romance oracle cards. God is going to give you double for your trouble. Dealing with this person, a wedding. So this is more confirmation that you're meeting someone new that... Um, wants what you want they want to act right they want a commitment they want to treat you right keep an open mind so this is letting me know that whoever this person is is someone that you probably wouldn't ordinarily 
talk to or entertain. Um, so keep an open mind. Soulmate, excuse me, soulmate was in reverse. What is this about? I feel like this person that is thinking about you, they feel like they are your soulmate. And, you know, with the whole soulmate, twin flame, karmic thing, I really don't subscribe to that. I do believe in soul mates and souls, soul tribes. And I believe that your soul tribe is, is a group of spiritual people that are, that have manifested here in human form. And you deal with these people and these people teach you lessons, good or bad, basically. And so Going back to the person that's thinking about you, they feel that they're your soulmate, but I just feel like they were just meant to teach you a lesson. And maybe you feel that way too because it came out in reverse. Make the effort. I feel like this person is thinking about you. They feel like you should be making the effort to reconcile, but I just really feel like a lot of you just are not interested in doing that. Who is this uh, wedding about? That could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Some of you are anticipating meeting someone new. Some of you are manifesting this new encounter. Some of you are in, are manifesting this um, new person. Some of you also felt like you were not living your truth when you were with this person that's thinking about you. Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, you got to get rid of this chip off your shoulder. You don't want to go into any new connection with emotional baggage from this person. And I've been getting a lot of this, this same message for pretty much all of the signs so far. So Leo... Uh, you don't want anything to do with this person that's thinking about you. You are focused on a new, healthy connection, and I believe that it's coming. Um, probably as early as Aquarius season, so that starts in another couple of weeks. So you can meet this person really soon. Um, Four of Swords, yeah, you need to, some of you are still healing, which is great. That's healthy. Get rid of that emotional baggage, all right? So, Leo, that is your reading. I hope it was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.